Hey there, this is Adam from All Over POS, and today we're gonna to show you how to install All Over POS and get it up and running on your WooCommerce shop in just a few minutes. So we're here on our WooCommerce dashboard, and as you can see, uh, we've got a small database of about 25 products, and we've got a variation of simple and variable products. We also have the products grouped into categories and subcategories for easy sorting. The simplest way to get the All Over POS plugin is from the WordPress plugin database. However, the plugin can also be found on the WordPress.org plugin library. Head to plugins in your WordPress menu and select add new to find the plugin. Search for all over POS in the upper right corner of the WordPress plugin database and install and activate the plugin. Once activated and open for the first time, you'll begin the sign up process. Enter your first name, last name, email address, and a password for logging in and out of all over POS and also for managing your subscription. You'll also be asked to set a pin. This is for accessing the web register. You can change your pin at any time in Oliver Hub's settings panel. Once we've created our account, our shop's products, orders, users, and more will be synced into Oliver POS. This can take up to a few minutes depending on the size of your shop, but only happens on the first load of the plugin to your site. After the sync is complete, you can open Oliver Hub to configure your settings or open the register to start selling. You can also access the web register by opening Oliver Hub and selecting register in the left hand menu. Once we open the web register, we'll be asked to select our site and enter the pin you set up in the sign up process. Once logged in, we can see that our WooCommerce products have been loaded into the POS and ready for sale. You can filter your products by adding tiles to the left hand side of the web register. Let's add a few tiles to filter the product list down and then complete a checkout. Here you can see a variable product being added to the cart. So now that we've added a few products to the cart, we'll proceed to the checkout. In the free version of Oliver POS, we can see our three default payment methods of cash, card, and other payment method. In this example, our customer is paying with exact cash. Once the sale is complete, a receipt pop-up will appear. You can configure your receipt settings in Oliver Hub at any time. Also, you can email a receipt to the customer should the customer desire. Now we've completed a sale, so let's open up our WooCommerce orders. Here we can see that an order has been completed and logged in WooCommerce. And as you can see, we've just created the order for the products that we just checked out using Oliver POS. For more information on anything all over POS, head to the next videos or click on our website in the description.